Hello and welcome to Introductory Sociology here at Edison Online. I'm Matthew Irvin. I am your course instructor. I think it's always a nice idea to put a face to these gradings and exchanges and processes. So I'll look, look forward in the future to my having a couple of sessions, optional sessions, where you can zoom in and, and have a chat. I want to start, uh, I've started this, uh, and I've received a couple of emails, and I want to tell you, thank you for the heads up. Uh, I'm looking into some technical issues here, but let's go over the first bit of class. Okay, now, uh, the first link you have, and again, I am witnessing this just as you would as a student. The first link that we have is the course information link. Uh, it tells you what this class is about, you know, okay. Gives it, you know, this nice uh, video, right? Uh, you know, it describes what sociology is, what materials you'll need. Uh, browser, speakers, a microphone, um, you know, Microsoft 365. And then there's a, a link to how to convert a Google Doc to a Word document. Now, Microsoft 365 is available to you as a student at Edison College, um, you know, free of charge, okay? So you don't have to go get a subscription to that, okay? Let's just go over, I'm going to go over each of these. What are plagiarism? You can go ahead and read that. You pretty much know what that is. Don't copy, right? How do you submit assignments, okay? Um, I'm not going to watch these videos here, but go through here, go through this course info and watch these videos, how to, how to turn in, you have to submit to turn it in and you have to, do com you have to, so you have to respond to, or read comments that I present. Uh, what's a digital receipt journal? Now, a lot of times, um, what, what this is, is an assurance against um, my losing a file or you submitting the wrong file. Um, this is a good idea, okay? Uh, you don't necessarily, I'm not going to penalize you deeply if I see the, the um, uh, assignment show up, but, but if, for example, you don't submit an assignment properly, um, this digital receipt journal, um, you, you know, it, it, it gives us it both a, a check against any potential errors. But if I see the assignment show up, I'm not as concerned about it, you know, um, uh, but, 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 uh, do follow up with this. Okay. Um, so, okay. What if you get locked out of your Blackboard account? Okay. This is good. Okay. Uh, here you go. I mean, here's, here's information for you. Email me because I know nothing about how to get you unlocked from your Blackboard account. Please look here. Finally, this is important. Okay. This is what I think many of you, um, are might be running into the problem with how to register for inquisitive with Blackboard. You have to do this because these inquisitive assignments are going to be a rolling part of your grade. They're quizzes on each, uh, on each week. Okay. So let's take a look here at that. I do. Grammarly? Yeah. Inquisitive, the adaptive learning tool that comes with your textbook, will help you maximize your study time and is an easy way to prepare for lectures and exams while boosting your grade. First, log into your Canvas Blackboard course. Your instructor is using LMS integration, which allows you to access Inquisitive directly from your instructor's Blackboard course and access your grades from within the Blackboard gradebook. To ensure your instructor can see your grades, be sure to access Inquisitive activities directly from your instructor's Blackboard course. Once you click on Inquisitive, you'll first be directed to register. You will only need to register once. From that point on, you'll simply access Inquisitive from your Blackboard course. When prompted, select No. I need to register, purchase, or sign up for trial access. Enter your name, your school email address, and create a password. As you complete registration, you'll have three options. I have a registration code. I want to purchase access. 
or I want to sign up for 21 days of trial access. If you already have a registration code, either from a new book or a registration card purchased in your bookstore, enter it and click the Register My Code button on the bottom of the box. If you want to purchase our low-cost ebook bundled with Inquisitive or Inquisitive Standalone, select the I want to purchase access option and click the Show Purchasing Options button. Or you can sign up for trial access. You're now ready to access Inquisitive. You'll either see a list of assigned activities or you'll be directed to begin a selected activity. To familiarize yourself with Inquisitive, watch the Inquisitive Quick Start video. Then start answering questions. For each question, you'll be able to wager points based on your confidence level. If you answer incorrectly, you'll have the opportunity to win back 50% of the points you've wagered. Each question must be answered correctly before you can advance. You can also gain bonus points for winning streaks, and you can keep going until you reach a grade of 100%. Each time your grade changes in Inquisitive, an update will be sent to the Blackboard Grade Center. There are a variety of question types in Inquisitive, and for each correct or incorrect answer, you'll receive answer-specific feedback, and be directed right to the spot in the ebook that will help reinforce the concepts you're working to master. For more information on Inquisitive, or if you have technical questions or concerns, visit support.wwmorton.com. What a lovely presentation that was. But but that's absolutely um, what's necessary for you to proceed. Now, you should have received a, um, I, I believe that you should have received a, uh, um, uh, an inquisitive uh, uh, code, you know, for option B there in your textbook. Okay. So that's basically how you got to get in there. Okay. So course information and policies uh that's basically the same same info right um here's a, here's a syllabus okay um you click on the syllabus here um okay embarrassingly it's not loading there we go uh you know and it takes it gives you information about me you know, how to get in touch with me you already, some you already have, and it gives you the breakdown here. Notice that each of these, you know, has a different, um, you know, there's, there's stuff for week, okay, um, and that, you know, uh, there's material for each week. Is uh, We've got all sorts of info here. I don't know if there's a food pantry, you know, there going on with, with, with the pandemic, okay, um, we don't have in-class written assignments. Um, you know, basically everything is going to be online, of course. Uh, so uh, please stay tuned, you know, uh, but read through this, the, the, this detailed syllabus, okay? Take a minute. It's always good to begin with the end in mind, to read the syllabus and see what's going on. This is a course objectives, topics, etc. cetera, okay? Um, now... Let's go down here and look at weekly assignments, okay? Because there was another question about, um, uh, let's see, assignments, okay? Um, the, the, there was another question due about, uh, 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 about the accessibility of uh, the ASA website. So let's take a look at this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a look at Complete the three getting started assignments. So for this week, by uh, I think Sunday is the cutoff date at midnight. You have to do getting started quiz. Okay, take this until you get a hundred percent. Then how to use Inquisitive. Okay, you know getting started assignment two. Okay, uh, we'll take a look at that. You know. Uh, it's going to give you, uh, again, you're going to have to register. You, you have to register for it for the first time. And you set up a Blackboard profile. OK, 
Okay. Um, and this, this has detailed instructions. It's a good idea for you to set up your Blackboard profile anyway. Okay. So there's that uh, introduction to sociology assignment. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Now, th this is the assignment. This is where people were having problems. Okay. Here's, here's what the answer is. What is sociology? Okay. There's that. Okay. Um, so that's the first link in this assignment. Okay. Let's go back out here. Now, this is the link that seemed to cause people problems. Okay, um, you, you're not, so what I'm going to, what I'm going to suggest that you do, okay, this is official instructions, is not to concern yourself with that aspect of this assignment, okay, until I can straighten out. Don't worry about it. So, just to uh, underscore uh, this, the second part of uh, this assignment, uh, you know, uh, you, you don't worry about completing this. You're exempt. You're exempt from that. Don't please don't email me and go out. You you don't have access to the page. I know you don't, and that's why um, I'm going to ask always. You watch these videos. You know, we'll take care of it. Right? You know, we'll, we'll take care. You you won't be penalized in any way for this until I, we can figure out what's going on. Okay. So that's that assignment here. Don't worry about this. Okay. Um, you, you know, uh, just, just write about, um, you know, uh, just write about, you know, write about the, a couple of paragraphs about, about what's about the about ASA section. Okay. So that's, um, where are we at? Uh, the, 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 the assignments that's week one okay all of that's going to be due um you know that's due on the 29th which is the 29th is okay that's going to be sunday at at uh, 11 59 p.m i think all assignments are due okay so make sure when you do this you know that you you keep these assignments because they'll wink off okay now, um, a number of things, a number of assignments are larger in scope. There's a sociological theories assignment that's due in September. Let's take a look at that for a moment. Okay. Um, uh, Dr. Bolzinski made an excellent uh, video breaking down the theory paper. Okay. And uh, basically, um, what to do? Uh, you, you have all your uh, instructions here. I'm sorry I can't fit this into the frame, but um, please take a look at that, okay? And keep in mind, please, too, this isn't a reflection paper or a personal connection paper. You, you know, the purpose of, of, is to argue how the job fits, you know, the sociological, imagine, you know, the, the sociological reality. So don't, you're not writing about yourself here. It's hard. People are, you know, we're, we're inured, we're, we're festooned with writing about ourselves. But I mean, please, you know, write about your job. Your job exists outside of you. It was there before you were there and maybe after you're going to be there. Okay. So um, that's, that's another thing. Uh, another, another, um, aspect once you've gotten registered for these quizzes and all everything's going to go this is how you're going to be graded there and this is where you submit your your assignment that's going to be pretty much the case for all of these okay so um you can email me it says email the instructor here that's that's me you can just click that here and i think i've got yeah you got my faculty info here and a picture of my jolly face rolling down the road etc hopefully this should get you started um and clarify any problems that you might have getting started you know um and i'm going to go ahead and, and embed this in a link in an email and send it on out peace love uh, if you have any questions i'm going to be monitoring emails regularly 
Uh, basically, how I'm going to be setting up uh, uh, things is that by huh, by about Wednesday, after you submit your work, you should see grades pop up. You know, for inquisitives, once you've got that registered properly, they'll pop up immediately. Okay? Thank you, and have a great uh, rest of the week and a great weekend.